published 0248 EDT, the 16th of August 2017, updated 0248 EDT, the 16th of August 2017, FTSE 350 firms suffered a 400% jump in votes against re-electing company directors, as shareholder rebellions took hold foot, C100 firms have been more restrained in their pay proposals for company bosses this year after significant shareholder dissent last year. Fresh data from the Investment Association, the UK's asset management trade body, indicates companies have listened to investors' growing concerns that bosses' salaries were spiralling out of control. The EU says there has been a 35% drop in the number of remuneration proposals that saw more than 20% of shareholder votes cast in opposition, compared to 2016. Indeed, a survey by the Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development CIPD in the High Pay Centre think tank earlier this month found that pay packages for the bosses of Britain's 100 biggest listed companies dropped 13% over the past year. The investigation showed the median pay for chief executives of companies in the FTSE 100 index was £3.45 million in 2016, down from £3.97 million in 2015 and only marginally higher than in 2010. Despite the drop, the CIPD said pay packages for CEOs remained extraordinarily high and for every £1 that the average FTSE 100 employee is paid, their chief executive earns £129. That ratio was down from £148 in 2015. However, the study also found that FTSE 250 companies on the other hand, witnessed a sharp spike in stockholders opposing wage plans for this year. There was a 100% increase in companies seeing 20% or more votes against their pay proposals. Meanwhile, the Investment Association found that FTSE 350 firms as a whole suffered a 400% jump in votes against re-electing company directors, as shareholders expressed their discontent in another way. Commenting on the emerging picture, Investment Association Chief Executive Chris Cummings said data from the 2017 AGM season shows that investors are flexing their muscles and holding big business to account. Executive pay amongst the UK's largest companies is starting to decline to a level more in line with shareholder expectations. There is still some way to go, but a strong signal has been sent to boardrooms around the country that investors won't tolerate rewards that are out of line with company performance and have concerns about executives spiralling pay. Fresh data from the Investment Association, the UK's asset management trade body, shows how companies have listened and acted to investors over growing concerns that fat cat salaries were spiralling out of control well-run and well-performing companies that yield long-term shareholder returns are critical to ensuring that British savers and pensioners are able to lead more prosperous lives into their later years. Shareholder revolt swept FTSE 100 firms in 2016, when the bosses of mining giant Anglo-American advertising, behemoth WPP and oil major BPL faced investor backlash over swelling pay. Nearly 60% of BP shareholders voted against a 20% hike in Bob Dudley's pay at the oil giant's 2016 AGM after the group posted its largest annual loss for at least 20 years and axed thousands of jobs worldwide. BP subsequently slashed Mr. Dudley's pay package by 40% and his maximum earnings by US$3.7 million, US dollars, three million pounds over the next three years in hopes of seeing off a fresh shareholder rebellion. The move proved popular among investors, who approved the resolution by over 97% earlier this year. Likewise, Imperial Brands the company behind David Offen Lambert and Butler Cigarettes also moved to stub out a potential shareholder rebellion by withdrawing plans for a bumper pay rise for chief executive Allison Cooper. But other firms like luxury retailer Burberry have charged on with growing pay, prompting nearly a third of shareholders to vote against a generous payout that include a £5.4 million share award for former boss Christopher Bailey. Pearson shareholders also vented their anger, with more than 60% of votes cast against a 20% pay bump for the loss-making publisher's chief executive John Fallon.